Hey everybody, J.K. Calloway here at Real J.K. Calloway, coming at you with the results for this week's Hashtag Skirmish Game. And this week we played Hashtag So Much Fun, I nearly... <laughs> no trending this week, but lots of really funny responses. Make sure you beep, click on the hashtag and start scrolling, meet some new people, have some laughs, and retweet people, because people seem to dig that. It's a, it's a big thrill for them. Obviously, we had another damn shooting this week, so I thought we should have some kind of laughs, if possible. I know it was probably kind of hard for some people to get their head around that, which is totally understandable, so I do appreciate the people who did play, who did try, and I do appreciate you. With that said, let's get right into it. Our top 10 for this week's hashtag skirmish game. Hashtag so much fun, I nearly... Hmm. Number 10 comes from at rocking underscore D underscore Robin. So much fun, I nearly perjured myself. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you recount the events of the night. The wrong person could be listening. Unless you live in Philadelphia and then apparently the cops are just like, whatever, destroy whatever you want. The Eagles won the Super Bowl, so just go ahead and climb on public property and tip over cars. What the hell's wrong? <laughs> Number nine comes from at Savage Tapioca. So much fun, I nearly forgot who is president. If only. <laughs> I'm not that distraught over the whole thing. I don't think Hillary would have made an outstanding president either. I mean, she'd <laughs> she'd be a lot goddamn better. Don't get me wrong. You know, if I'm out with friends or if I'm having a laugh with my wife or something, I don't get sidetracked by the fact that that schmuck is president. It doesn't like stop me and I have tracks and like halt laughter or anything. But if he does something stupid at the particular time I'm paying attention, yeah, I get fired up just like everyone does. But you can't let that prick affect how you live your life. Unless, of course, he eventually starts taking away your rights, which. Sorry, gays. You had a good run. Number eight comes from Audrey F. Sisson. The date was so much fun, I nearly called you the next day. Don't be so needy! I haven't dated in a very long time, so I don't know the protocol anymore. But, you know, back in high school, I usually had to see them the next day if we had a date. So, that's pretty much the last time I dated. You know, I was still a stupid kid, so... Yeah, I'm sure I called people too early on occasion. I don't remember. It was a long damn time ago. I don't see a problem with calling the next day. I think that's really flattering, but this is a guy who's been with the same person for, you know, a long time. 17 years coming up on. So, you know, if a friend calls me the next day, I'm flattered. <laughs> Number seven comes from at Fat Andy. So much fun, I nearly gave it up for Lent. I like how Lent has become a diet for people. It's like, oh, it's Lent. I'm gonna give up sugary sodas. Are you trying to lose weight? No, it's just something I shouldn't do, right? I think they're talking about sins, fucko. Just this watered down American Christianity crap. It's like, oh, I'm gonna give up chocolate for Lent but you gays better not get married and fuck you. Number six comes from at Miss underscore underscore Barty. So much fun, I nearly forgot that we might not have another sibling in the future. <laughs> Without fail, once a month. <laughs> Without fail. These fucking kids just crush my jewels. I mean, they're six and three. Granted, the three-year-old's about to turn four and he's a bit of a tank. It's a big, tall bastard, and they're at the perfect height. You know, if we're wrestling around or something, and they like charge at me, arms out, they're gonna <laughs> done. Number five comes from at Brandon. If six was nine, so much fun, I nearly had to eliminate the witnesses. Always the best policy. If no one saw it, it didn't happen. Doesn't matter how drunk you were or how many hookers you killed. Just saying, it's the first example that 
I'm going to need all of your addresses in the comments section. Number four comes from at Simbra75. So much fun, I nearly maxed out my fun meter. Another word for that is probably bank account. Kind of lets you know how much fun you can have for an evening. Number three comes from at Bird Eileen. So much fun, I nearly forgot these chips weren't made for ladies. Hashtag Lady Doritos. I'm not one to brag, but I did make a video on how to make Lady Doritos. Here's a clip. Did that work? I don't know. Wasn't that funny? <laughs> Misogyny for the win. Anyway, watch the whole video. I'll leave the link in the comments section. It was a funny little video and clearly poking fun at the, the patriarchy that we live in. Sorry, ladies. I didn't choose to have a penis when born. I'm just enjoying the benefits. Number two comes from at NRA Kills. This administration is so much fun, I nearly give myself a concussion on a daily basis. Uh, just... Why? Like I said before, I never get this way in moments of joy, but like if you start thinking about it... Just like... Remember when Obama was an elitist? But now a guy... Who, who got a million dollar loan from his dad? He speaks for the working class. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, before we get to our number one, here are a few honorable mentions, including one from the host at Real JK Galloway. One from me. Hanging out with those babies was so much fun, I nearly lactated. Oh, they're full. It's still like the most fun I have. I love hanging out with kids. They get my jokes. I should start making these into cartoons so I can get more views. <laughs> One from it, the true Doc Love. So much fun, I nearly had a stroke, but then your mom showed up, and I didn't have to do it myself. No, I think she's a lot like me. She met my dad when she was 20. I think they met when they were 20. But I'm sure before my dad... <laughs> Dirty, dirty girl. In fact, I grew up with them, and we had thin walls, so I'm I'm quite aware that she's a dirty... <laughs> One from at the public gadfly. So much fun, I nearly put down my phone. I'm using a tablet because I record video with my phone. Fourth wall. One from it, Cat Funny. You are so much fun, I nearly forgot to pay you for the hour. What a weird experience that must be. Like, it must, in some ways, be more fun and less stressful. I'm talking about hiring a prostitute at this point. <laughs> I don't have experience in that. But it's just like, playing it through, you know, the whole dating thing, or meeting someone at the bar, and going, like, it just seems like a headache. But at the same time, do I want to give my money to a stranger for sex and be sober? <laughs> and one from it, A.A. Skelson. So much fun, I nearly punched someone. That's a different level of fun. I've never really had the violent tendencies, even when drunk. Like, I'm the happy drunk. I'm the guy who's, like, putting my arms over people when drunk and flirting and shit like that. I'm not the, like, oh, so fight. Yeah. I've only been in a few fights in my life, and it's not fun. I don't get it. Like, I've won a few and I've lost a few, but I'm gladly old enough to have been in the era of as soon as someone falls, fight's over. You pick him up, you buy him a beer. In the fight, that's it. You know, I've been to the bar recently and seen a few fights where, like, the ambulance showed up because someone wouldn't fucking stop. You psychos, it's not fun. Go talk to your fucking fathers. 
figure out why you're a dick. And our number one for this week's hashtag skirmish game comes from at Barry Colthorpe. The in-flight movie was so much fun I nearly forgot that I was supposed to be flying the plane. And the best use of the before and after element of this particular hashtag. So well done to you. This was really fucking funny. Plus, you know, it's funny and all, but does a pilot really have the time to watch a movie when they're too busy mixing up the drinks? And there it is, my friends, our top 10 for this week's hashtag skirmish game. Hashtag so much fun, I nearly... <laughs> Thank you everyone for playing along, really funny stuff. Make sure again you click on the hashtag, scroll, 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 have a good time, follow everybody because people dig that shit. Right? Before I let you go, make sure you do download the hashtag roundup app. It is outstanding, promotes all the best weekly hashtag games, including hashtag skirmish. We play every single Friday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. And of course for me, hit that subscribe button. We're well over 400, we're on our way to 500. I put a lot of more stuff than just these top tens. I do funny stuff with my kids. I do reviews with my wife. I'll do political videos here and there if the mood strikes and I have the time. Not so much political stuff, but a lot of silly stuff, like the Lady Doritos thing. It's just, I was bored one afternoon. It was all improv so. <laughs> hey, look, I'll grab some milk, I see that. Oh, there's some aspirin, I'll call them depression. <laughs> It was a weird video, but it was fun. My name is J.K. Calloway. We'll talk to you again next time. <laughs> Hashtag so much fun, I nearly... <laughs>